Hi, I'm Dr. Bragg, and I'm here today to give you a tip for a pain-free Friday. I am a gardener, and I enjoy working in my garden. And in fact, this morning before I went to the office, I was able to pick some of my produce, some of my tomatoes, and some of my sweet banana peppers. I also picked some squash and cucumbers. And so one of the things I know, that if you're not careful when you do yard work or work in the garden, you could develop back pain. So today, I'm going to give you some strategies, some things that you can do, 10 tips to avoid back pain when you are working in your garden. You can find these in my best-selling book, Secrets to Maintain a Healthy Back. I have a chapter on things that you can do to avoid getting back pain when you're working in your yard or a garden, because I can't tell you how many people I see because they are doing repetitive bending and twisting in the yard, picking up things the wrong way, and they develop back pain. So here are 10 tips that I wanna share with you. First, you have to think about what are the shoes you're wearing. You need to wear the appropriate shoes that's gonna provide you with good arch support so that you don't put any strain on your feet and your legs. But before you work in your garden and before you work in that yard, one of the most important things you need to do is perform some warm-up exercises. How many times do I see my neighbors, and I've lived in my neighborhood about 20 years, and when spring comes, they come out and they're ready to clean up their yard from the winter, they're ready to get uh, the leaves up in the fall, and they run out in the yard and they don't do any warm-up exercises. So you need to do some warm-up exercises before you work in your garden, or before you do yard work so that you warm up the muscles so that you don't get any muscle muscular strains. You need to make sure that you drink lots of water, especially here in Virginia because it's very hot and humid. So you need to make sure that you're very hydrated. So I think most places where you, where you live that we need to make sure we drink a lot of water before we start our garden activities to prevent muscle cramps or spasms and to prevent dehydration because muscles need water to function at their best. And this will allow the muscles to work very efficiently with better coordination when they are well hydrated. And one thing you want to make sure is never do any activity for a prolonged period of time. So if you're pruning, you don't want to just continue to prune. You want to mix the pruning with lifting, mix the pruning with raking, and just don't continue to prune continuously because anything that you do for a prolonged period of time can cause back pain. So do a little pruning, a little raking, a little mulch, mulching, and mix up the movements and that's going to help prevent pain. But avoid bending at the waist for prolonged periods of time because repetitive bending, repetitive bending will increase the likelihood that your muscles are going to ache and you're gonna have a lot of back pain at that point. Sometimes I say it's important that if you can get a kneeling stool, where you can even kneel or sit on a stool when you're pulling weeds or when you're working in the flower or vegetable garden, this can reduce the stress on your back. Number six, you wanna avoid leaning forward. When you're mowing and pushing your lawnmower, you don't want to be leaning forward because this is going to strain your back. You want to maintain a proper posture and push with your arms and legs instead of your back. So don't lean forward, remain upright as you push the more. And what you want to do when you're lifting, what do I always tell you? You want to bring things close to your chest. So if you're picking up a bag of weeds, picking up a bag of leaves, don't have them out with outstretched arms pick them up close to the body and bend with your knees, not with your back. So bend with your knees and lift with your legs and avoid bending at the waist. And always avoid repetitive twisting. When you twist, 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 you are going to have back pain. So if you're raking, avoid twisting your back and stand with your feet shoulder width apart one foot in front of the other and keep the back straight. You don't want to be twisting. And you know what? It's not lazy, but take a break. Take a posture break. 
And when you take a postural break, maybe if you've been in the yard 30, 40 minutes, take a break for 10 minutes and drink some water and do some stretches so that you don't put continuous stress on your back and this will help you to alleviate or reduce the likelihood of any injuries. And lastly, what do we wanna do? We wanna use ice for those sore muscles. Eyes, eyes, eyes would decrease those muscle spasms. So don't use heat in this, in this instance, use ice. I hope you find these 10 strategies beneficial to you so that you can enjoy your gardening and you can bring in some good produce like I have without having back pain. So review them, review them and look at this checklist and please sign up for my YouTube below so that you can continue to get my pain-free strategies every Friday. And I've enjoyed sharing this with you because I hope that you understand and can see that I have a passion for gardening. It's a good relaxing hobby. And I hope that you can enjoy your gardening and your yard work. And as you clean up for the fall this year, you can do it without having back pain.